I promised Bernie that I would answer his questions. He asked me whether his project had been approved. I misunderstood and thought he asked whether I had approved it. I said truthfully, I would approve it if I could, but I don't have the authority to do so. That is up to, that is up to Dorothy, and she hasn't yet made a decision. Thus, I fulfilled my promise to Bernie. This question is going to be which of the following assume enables the conclusion above to be properly drawn. So this can be a conclusion question. Promise to Bernie to answer his questions. So question is B projects have been approved. Misunderstood question. Has B project been approved? So basically they thought that it's been approved, but it was misunderstood. They were asking if it has been approved. The authority to approve this project is going to be on Dorothy. And Dorothy's decision on the B projects, Bernie-er, is still pending. So we're going to have to consider, based off this information that we have right now, which of these questions would be more suitable to answer. So... Starting from the beginning, question A, all there is is to answering a question is giving the questioner the information requested. Yes, all bringing questions on his project need to be given to Dorothy for approval. So basically that is what it says. Um, all, of the, the, all these questions that um, Bernie is an asking to get answered. They need to be given to Dorothy for it to be approval and the final say. So that does uh, give us the answer. Let's see if these other answers here are better. B. No person can be held accountable for another person's decision. No. Sometimes there's power of will, power of attorney, where you can receive a person to have um, a certain amount of power authority over another person's decision making. So that is possible. So let me take away B. C, the person responsible for a decision is the one who should explain the decision. Uh, slightly yes, however, the assistance can still help, so that can still be a consideration. D, one need not to fulfill a person's uh, promise in order to do best that could be done to fulfill it. D is kind of uh, contradictory. It's, at, it's saying not to fulfill, and then it's asking it to be fulfilled, so it kind of contradicts. E, making a promise always ob obligates a person to keep it. Yes, in certain occasions it does, but not 100%. So this is why process elimination brings us to choice A. And choice A is what you consider the uh, overall conclusion to be drawn. So let's see if we're correct. And we got it correct. 